So today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys through my everything beauty routine. I'm talking body care, skincare, hair care, and not just the basics, no, 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 no. We are pulling out all the stops. So many products will be used because this is an everything beauty routine. This is not something that I do all the time. In fact, I do this quite rarely, but I like to kind of pull out this everything beauty routine when I am feeling low. I just got over being pretty sick last week. I was just not, I was not doing great. <laughs> I have an event tonight and I wanna feel good. I wanna feel myself and I, feel like maybe the best way to get there is to just pamper myself excessively. I also decided that I'm gonna be wearing my hair curly tonight. So I'm gonna incorporate my curly hair routine into this video as well, which will be really fun. So let's just get started. We have a lot to do. And we're gonna start off first with a hair treatment. I would say over the last like six to eight months, I've really focused a lot on scalp treatments. I feel like that has made the biggest difference in my hair. And there's two in particular that I kind of use at different points in my like pamper routine. So the first hair oil that I'm gonna be using is the Holly Locks from Agent Nature. It is the Strengthening Hair Growth Serum. And whenever I apply any type of serum or mask or any type of treatment to my hair, I really like to make sure that I get every inch of my head so that it's evenly distributed. So I'm going to split my hair into two. I'm gonna take one dropper full and just start by dispensing the product right on my scalp. So this is a scalp serum, so I'm not focusing this at all on my ends. And this serum is really just meant to nourish the scalp. And then I'll take a scalp massager. This one's from Vegamore. I really like it because it's silicone and it feels amazing on the hair. Um, and I just put it on my hand and then start to massage the scalp oil on this section. And I'll do this for maybe about a minute or two. I feel like a head massager like this is so good for scalp oils in particular because it really just works the product into your scalp. It also brings some blood circulation to your scalp, which is always a good thing. Okay, now I'm gonna let down the second half of my hair and do the same thing. One dropper full and then just start squeezing a little bit of the product all throughout. Scalp serums are really great, but it's it's definitely the type of thing where you do have to use them consistently to actually start to see any type of result from them. Really with any type of treatment, like you're not gonna see results right away. You need at least, I would say, like three months of very consistent use to start to see the benefits of them. It's just so frustrating, especially when it comes to hair, because you want those immediate results. You want your hair to grow longer like yesterday or to be healthier or thicker, whatever your hair goals are, but it just is so important to be consistent. And I I find that those scalp treatments specifically, now that I've been using them for like, it's been at least six months consistently, but I really do feel like my hair is getting a lot more regrowth, which is amazing. Like, especially around my um, temples over here. I also have noticed that my roots have been coming in quicker, which is interesting because I do dye my hair red. It's really easy for me to see how much my hair grows. And I don't know if it's directly related to my scalp serums. Maybe it's a combination of a lot of different things, but. I will say definitely can't hurt. Now that my scalp is taken care of, we are going to hydrate the ends. This is one of my favorite hair masks. It's actually from Sicily. It's the Hair Ritual by Sicily, Restructuring Nourishing Balm. And this is a very, very thick, oily balm. And I just find this to be extremely hydrating. My hair, because it's naturally curly, is also naturally dry. So I find that it really needs that extra moisture and this oily balm texture is delicious for my hair. Look at that texture, it's so good. So I take a pretty chunky amount. I work it into my hands and it kind of gets oily. And then I'll just run that through the ends. I won't put this at my scalp because I find that when I do, it does kind of weigh my hair down a little bit, which I do not want. Now that my hair is completely saturated, I'm just gonna twist it and clip it up. And I will leave this in my hair for maybe like 30 or so minutes. Whenever I do any type of like hair treatment, I always do like 20 to 30 minutes. I feel like beyond that could sometimes be just a little bit unnecessary. And that's the perfect amount of time for me to start working on my bod. I would just like to point out, I would typically be doing all of this just completely naked in my bathroom. And obviously I'm, I'm not in my bathroom right now. And that's only because the lighting in there sucks. So I'm literally just standing in my hallway, sitting on this little stool uh, about to show you how I dry brush. I've spoken about dry brushing before. This is like one of my favorite ways to get rid of the dead skin that is on my body. Dry brushing compared to like scrubbing your body with a body scrub, dry brushing is definitely a little bit more 
not abrasive, but it definitely gets the job done a lot more than a body scrub. I feel like a body scrub is a nice complement to a dry brush, but if you want to really get in there and you have very dry skin, a dry brush is really going to help in really removing all of that dead skin off of your body. Mine is from the brand Conscious Coconut. It works great. And I really like that this one has a handle. Um, so basically when you dry brush, you always want to do short motions and you want to go up your body. Also, if you have KP like I do, like the little bumps on the side of the arms, dry brushing is literally a game changer. You will notice an immediate difference. I actually find that dry brushing is probably one of the biggest things that have improved my KP. I don't know if you could see the, the dry skin literally puffing up like smoke as I'm brushing. It's kind of disturbing, but satisfying. <laughs> Maybe it's better that you can't see that. It's kind of gross. My skin feels so soft already. That's crazy. The difference is, is actually really wild. I'm also gonna do this on my stomach or chest, but I'm going to do that off camera. All right, so now that my hair has been soaking in all of this oil, my body's now brushed, it's time to get into the shower. So to wash my hair, this actually might sound slightly counterintuitive, but actually gonna be clarifying my hair with a clarifying shampoo. You may be thinking, but Jamie, you just put all this oil in your hair, so why would you want to use a clarifying shampoo, which will essentially like deeply cleanse your hair, thus removing like all of the oils. At this point, the oil and the mask has done its job. It's been sitting on my hair and my scalp for the last like 30 minutes. So it's kind of done what it needs to do. And it's really important for me that when I wash my hair, that all of the oily residue goes away too. Otherwise, my hair can feel a little bit heavy after washing it. Some people do like to kind of do it like this and some people don't. Um, I just find that this works for me. So of course, do whatever works best for you if you wanna try this as well. So I'm gonna be washing my hair twice. Once with the Olaplex 4C Bond Maintenance Clarifying Shampoo. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite clarifying shampoo because it does not strip my hair. Most clarifying shampoos that I've used have made my hair feel dry, brittle, like, like I have to use literally half a gallon of conditioner to like rebuild the softness because it strips my hair so much. This doesn't make my hair feel like that. Clarifying shampoos are so necessary, especially if you use a lot of product in your hair because it kind of just gives your hair a bit of a reset. You know, it cleanses it really, really well, gets rid of all that excess buildup. And then I'm gonna do my second shampoo with just my regular shampoo that I have been using lately. And lately I have been really enjoying the Everest, the shampoo concentrate. It's a shampoo concentrate. So there's actually no water in here. You're actually meant to add the water when you're in the shower. So you essentially just squeeze out a little bit of the product. It's super thick. You put it in the palm of your hand, you allow like some water to like also go into the palm of your hand and then you emulsify it and it gets really sudsy and then you could use it as you would any normal shampoo. So that's gonna be my little shampoo combo. And then for my conditioner, I'm going to be using this Orbe Moisture and Control Deep Treatment Mask. This is a super, super thick mask. I really like this, especially when I do wear my hair curly. The Moisture Control line in particular, I really like the shampoo and conditioner and the mask for my curly hair. I always find it makes my hair look really defined and moisturized. And I like this because it gives me a lot of moisture, but it doesn't make my hair feel heavy. So after shampooing, I'll let this sit in my hair for like two minutes and then I'll rinse that out as well. And then since I already dry brushed, I don't really feel the need to go in with like another body scrub. I feel like that's just kind of too much scrubbing going on. But the only other thing I will be doing to my body is I'm gonna be shaving from head to toe. So I'm gonna go do all of that and then I will meet you out of the shower and we will get into the skincare. <music> So the very last thing that I like to do for my body care routine is of course to moisturize. And one of my favorite ways to just kind of like amp up my typical moisturizing routine is to actually mix products. And I actually really like making a little cream oil concoction. One of my absolute favorite body moisturizers is the L'Occitane Milk Concentrate. This is one of the most beautiful body creams ever. This moisturizer even on its own is super moisturizing, but adding in an oil just like takes it to a whole nother level. So I'm just gonna take a nice little dollop. I'm gonna use that for my entire body. So the oil that I'm going to use, I'm actually almost completely out, is from a brand called Quintessent Bath and Body Oil in Vanilla Caviar. There was literally a vanilla bean sitting in here. I actually got a massage um, with this once and it smelled so good. And I loved like the feeling of the oil so much that I ended up buying a bottle. And I just basically put the whole dropper directly into the moisturizer, mix it all together. 
and the texture of these two together is magic. And then I'm just gonna put it literally everywhere. My skin is like butter right now. This combination is my absolute favorite. I need to repurchase this like immediately. Now when it comes to my skincare routine, I've really been keeping things so simple. I <laughs> like, I feel like there's really not even much for me to show you guys. As I've mentioned so many times in the last couple of videos of mine, I've been dealing with perioral dermatitis and I've been really, focus on trying to find a routine that doesn't make it worse. In fact, something that obviously makes it better. Um, and it's been, it's been a struggle, but I actually feel like I'm at a place where it's getting better, which is very, very, very exciting. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my skin is so much less red and inflamed, especially in like this area. I've been doing kind of like a treatment plan with my esthetician. We've been doing a laser treatment. The specific laser that I'm doing is laser genesis and I do it every three weeks. I've already done two sessions and it's supposed to be really good for inflammation and rosacea and redness and texture. And it's really, really helped my skin, which is really exciting. So I just wanted to mention that that has been part of my routine. Like this isn't just from product, but something that I've actually noticed has made a huge difference in my skin. And it's something that I never, ever, ever really incorporate into my skincare routine and that's a toner. I don't think I ever really fully understood what toners actually were. Toners are essentially supposed to rebalance the pH levels in your skin after you cleanse your skin. And especially as somebody with very sensitive skin and very dry skin, after cleansing, it's really important to kind of like rebalance things. Adding a toner into my routine is something that I was really missing. Um, because my skin just is much happier after I use the toner. It just feels less like angry at me after washing my face. So just to recap, I already washed my face with my Velvet Cleansing Milk from Stradia. So now I'm going to take my Vivier uh, Refreshing Toner and this is what I've been using. And I actually just put two pumps of this in my hand and then I just press it onto my face. I was using a cotton pad when I first started using this, but I felt like it kind of wasted product because it soaked into the cotton pad. And I just find that just pressing it into the skin gets the job done too. I'm not really using any actives right now. I might start to incorporate hyaluronic acid very soon, but as of right now, I'm not using anything. I'm just really doing the toner and moisturizer. And the moisturizer that I've been using in the daytime lately is in this little sample pot. Um, this is actually the Elastin. I think it's called the Nourishing Moisturizer. I'll put a picture of what it actually looks like on the screen. I have a sample that my um, esthetician gave me and I've been really, really liking it. My skin has also been really liking it. I really like Elastin as a brand. It has really, really beautiful skincare products. Their SPF is like one of my favorites. So this moisturizer has been beautiful. And that is all I'm gonna do for my skincare. Really nice and simple. Even though this is a full on pamper routine, the skincare has to stay simple. But something that I really love incorporating to my routine every once in a while is a gua sha or some type of face roller. I hold my gua sha kind of on an angle so it's not like digging into my skin like this. I bring it up towards my ear and then down my neck towards my lymph node. I'll do one side at a time so you guys can really see the difference because the depuffing is uh, really obvious and is always impressive. I'm always like shocked at how, how big of a difference this makes to, to, the, to the skin. It just depuffs the face completely. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I'm really not one to do this to my face every day. I know people are really, really religious with using a face roller or a gua sha. And kudos to you if you do this every single day. That's amazing. It takes time and I just don't always have the time. Carve out that time for yourself every once in a while because it's, it's great and it feels so good. Do you guys see the difference? So this is obviously gua sha and this one isn't. Like I see the difference immediately. And you do wanna make sure that you have some type of slip on your face. So whether that's your moisturizer or an oil. So you want the tool to glide pretty seamlessly. You don't want it to pull too much on your skin. I'm definitely not a gua sha expert, I will say that. This is how I learned how to do it. This is what works for me. There's so many different types of tutorials that really go into depth if you're interested in learning how to properly gua sha your face or massage your face. So before I even get into my curl routine, I'm actually gonna put in another scalp serum in my hair. So this is the Vegamore Grow Hair Serum. Like I mentioned, scalp care has been such a priority for me because I realized not that long ago that you know, your hair grows from your scalp. So it's really important to give it as much love and as much care as possible. Whereas prior, like I really never even thought about my scalp. I always thought about treating the ends of my hair. The other scalp serum that I showed you guys, that is a rinse out. This you're supposed to leave in. And I like to put it in my hair when it's 
wet. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm splitting my hair into two, taking one dropper full, put it on my scalp in the first section and really massage it. I'm just gonna use my fingers this time. And then of course the same thing at the top section. My hair is actually way too dry right now. I waited way too long before applying my product. So I'm just gonna take my spray bottle, which has some water in it. And I'm gonna re, re wet my hair. It is really important for curly hair for your hair to be pretty much like soaking wet when you're applying the products. It's really just gonna help the, your curls be as frizz free as possible. So when it comes to my curly hair, I like to use two different types of products, a cream and a gel. A cream is gonna help in defining the hair, adding moisture, and then the gel is gonna help with hold and definition. So these are the two creams that I've been liking the most recently. This is the Kerastas Refined Controlled Beautified Curl Balm, and then the Orbe Styling Butter Curl Enhancing cream. These are both great. They kind of do a very similar thing. Today I'm going to use the Kara Silk Curl Balm, my newest love. And I like to use a pretty solid amount of product. You really want to make sure that you're applying enough product in your hair and that every single strand is coated. I find that if I just were to like take the product and just kind of run it through my hair without separating it, I would miss significant chunks and it just wouldn't be as evenly applied. You kind of want to hear the product when you scrunch it. It like sounds juicy. <laughs> That's what you want. You don't want to use too much because too much product also isn't good, but you want to use enough where every single strand is coated and coated generously. Now that the cream has been applied, now I'm going to go in and apply the gel. And lately I have been loving this product from Verb. This is the Hold Shape Define and Defrizz Curl Foaming Gel. This is a very unique product. I've never tried anything like it. It's kind of like, um, a hyper between a mousse and a gel. I put about five pumps of this and I'm just doing the same thing. I really should be separating my hair right now, but my hands are so slippery. <laughs> so I'm just gonna instead apply it in vertical sections. So next we're gonna define the curls. This is, I think like the most important part of an entire curl routine because I can just let my hair dry like this. I could take a diffuser and dry it and the result will be fine, but it's definitely not gonna be as nice as when I actually define my curls myself. People ask me, all the time why I don't wear my hair curly more, more often. And this is why, because it honestly takes forever to uh, make my curls look nice. The whole process is like a solid hour, whereas blow drying my hair is like 15 to 20 minutes. So you can do this in a couple different ways. I'm gonna be using my Denman brush, which looks like this. You can use, I, I believe like any other normal hairbrush, but I always use the Denman brush. And so I take small sections about this big I'll brush through first. And you basically wanna like curl your hair almost like you're curling a ribbon. Grab it at the root. Kinda wanna twist the brush, let it go down the hair. And then at the end, I kinda twist it a little bit more. And then I'll even like finger coil it a bit. And then you're left with a nice looking little curl. Continue that throughout your entire head. There's different ways also that you can use this brush. It really depends on what works best for you, but I find doing it like this gives me a really nice result. Kind of gives me like a really nice, smooth, bouncy ringlet. Every couple of months, I always have a bit of a, an identity crisis when it comes to my hair. Even though I, I am actually really happy with my hair, I also, I'm just craving a change. But now I'm at the point where like, I wanna change so badly that I'm looking at all of these girls with these cute little lobs and I'm like, should I just cut all of my hair off? And I know deep down that I would hate myself if I did that because I've been working so hard and growing out my hair. And I had a lob for a very long time and I loved it, but it takes so long to grow out. And I'm just don't think I'm like fully ready to commit to that just yet. And then I was thinking, do I need to change my hair color? Cause I've been red now for the last year or so and I've been loving it. I really do feel very myself with this red color, but because I'm like craving a change so badly, I'm just thinking to myself like, do I dye my hair brown? I actually spoke to my uh, stylist about this and she pretty much refused to do that. She said I'm being irrational, which fair. Probably am. Literally it's the most Gemini thing ever, like being happy with where your hair is at, but also desperately wanting a change and just not knowing how to make that happen. Anyways, I guess going from like curly to straight to curly to straight to curly to straight is a nice switch up because I feel like it's such a different vibe. The next step is to diffuse the hair. This is, this takes a long time. To give myself a little bit of a lift at my bangs, I'm actually gonna take these little hair clips, pin the front over here, 
So I'm actually gonna start off by first hovering the diffuser around my head. And then once it starts to get maybe like 70% dry, I'm gonna go into my roots to dry it. And then I'll start drying the ends by kind of flipping my head over to the side and then just moving the diffuser around like this. You know, sometimes I love my curls and then there are other times where I feel, feels like I'm giving weird elk and I just can't unsee it. That's where I'm at right now. We're not done because right now things are looking a little bit flat and a little bit clumpy. Um, so we're gonna take some oil. This is the JVN Nourishing Shine Drops and I'm going to take quite a bit of this and I'm actually going to put this not just in the palms of my hand but all around my hand because I'm going to start to go in now and shake out the curls. The oil is there to make sure that things don't get frizzy, um, especially because now I'm going to go in and declump the curls by kind of separating them. And so then the oil is just going to, again, like kind of defrizz the hair as I'm declumping it. And this will make the curls look a lot fluffier. And you wanna do this pretty gently. I mean, even that, look at the difference. I feel like there's been so many moments in this process where I've just thought to myself, it would have been so much easier to just blow dry my hair. <laughs> but no, I cannot think that way. We need to embrace the curls. I feel like I need to make a sticker that says curly girl rage. I feel like every person who has curly hair <laughs> would be able to relate to that when your curls just are not cooperating. Now I'm just gonna let the curls kind of sit because they there is still a little bit of dampness in there um, and I want that to completely dry and then we'll be able to see like the final result. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then I'll come back to show you the final result. The curls are looking good. Curls are honestly such a roller coaster ride. I think it was just the addition of the makeup just made me appreciate the curls even more. There's one more thing that I wanted to do to really finish off this routine and like put that cherry on top of this curly sundae. I've tried one hair perfume before. I don't really fully understand the point of a hair perfume because isn't a hair perfume just a perfume? But I just got this in PR and I really wanted to try it out. It's from Jizu and it's the Honey Infused Hair Perfume Floral Edition. I haven't even opened this up yet, so let's do it together. Oh yeah, it's an actual perfume. I, I thought for maybe for a second that this was gonna be like an oil that just had like a stronger fragrance to it, but it's an actual uh, fragrance bottle. Wow, that actually smells so good though. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. It smells like pure honey with a little bit of a floral note to it. And I guess that makes sense because it's wild rose and honey. Wow, that actually smells delicious. So hair perfume or not, I kind of want to spray this all over my body. <laughs> Do a little spritz spritz. I think that's the last step to my extra everything routine. I honestly feel fantastic right now. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts in the comments and hit the thumbs up button. If you did enjoy today's video and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Bye.